tell us, no, I need job security. We gotta kill him. He's killed so many people, Batman. Yes, but how are they gonna make ba Joker versus Harley Quinn? Who's Harley Quinn? Another clown I gotta kill. Oh, wait, I already did. Hey! Yeah, uh, welcome yep. back, guys. Welcome to the Bad Tiggly Podcast. And yeah, if you had notice, you. yes, Whoa. we are in yep. a different set. Diff it's, not, it's not a different set, it's the same set, but... Uh, we're actually a uh, different art style. Is, is that what you meant? What? Is that what you meant to say? A different art style? We Actually, we've always looked like this. Yeah, what are you talking about? We're in a different... Like, we changed the flooring. Yeah, it's like... Uh, you ever seen The Flash and how he changed the timeline? Well, this timeline has you always been the like Flash? this. <laughs> you know how The Flash runs really <laughs> fast? Yeah, that, so, like, that's pretty much the same thing with the floor. Yeah, it's we... different. We ran so fast to the next door, and we asked the floors, can we get a new floor? That's, that's what we did. We ran. We don't have we cars. Ran, <laughs> we ran back in time and grabbed Jesus and told him to do the carpentry for the floor. You know, why didn't they wait. try that? I <laughs> why know didn't you, they try what? I know you haven't seen the Flash yet, but why didn't they just go back to Jesus times to see what he's been up to? You know what I mean? I don't know. Probably Sa wasn't in their budget. What? Save my mom? The Flash? Come on, dude. Don't you want to meet, like, I don't know, Moses? Let's go way, let's go way further back. Adam and Eve? That would be a fight, dude, when fucking Zod or whatever is flying around and, yeah. and Moses comes down and just parts the sea <laughs> on, like, the other side of the world. And it's like, Moses, what are you doing, dude? He's like, it's I'm like, looking Mo for Moses, the fight's over here. He's like, listen, I got to free the fucking Jews from Egypt. He's like, buddy. Yeah. But, you know, Moses, do your thing. Yeah, just, do, your just, thing, just do what you're doing. Keep at it. And then he, he goes back into the future. Back into the future. He goes back into the future. It turns out Jesus never came. They named him Keith. Like, nothing changed about the Bible, except you have to refer to him as Keith now. How would you feel about oh, that? Oh, God. Uh, indifferent. Keith of Nazareth. <laughs> Keith of Nazareth. You know, Keith if the guy's Nazareth. name was Keith, then I'd understand why he was crucified, but, you know. Yeah. But you know what we got? You know what we got? You know what I found, actually? Uh, this person, Neb's Good Takes, did a wonderful job compiling all the canceled, unmade, and reworked DC Extended Universe projects. And you know what? I want to talk about some of them. You know, we're just gonna it's got to be a short out. list, man. DC has been pretty consistent with doing, you know, everything they've ever set their eyes uh, on. No, no. It, it looks like 40 or 50 projects um let's start with an easy one right but you ready you ready to like gear it up you're ready to gear it for an easy one yeah. okay cool yeah shoot shoot me down shoot me okay okay uh ben affleck say bug and the batman remember when batman was supposed to be directed by ben affleck and he was supposed to star in it mm -hmm. like he would act and then he would say cut and then immediately run behind the camera and go like all right so how to turn out that's what he was gonna do i remember that <laughs> yeah but apparently it was inspired by james bond and was too action driven for matt reeves that's possible i mean i thought they were always going to do it like a hey this could be more of a detective thing he's going to be like sleuth and he's going to be thinking but i guess there's just going to be even more action somehow you know what batman's all about being a spy spying being being a punchy man the and name's batman that's the full name the antagonist was supposed to be deathstroke <laughs> Who quote was systematic systematically yeah systematically that's that's reward uh tear down bruce wayne's life piece by piece and so it's like is he gonna is he gonna take his money is he gonna take his mansion is he gonna take alfred but he'll never take his freedom no i checked they they did take, they, they did take that too he's in ah! yeah cool well actually they kind of did yeah the film's gone so yeah. there's no real anything so stroke who, wins yeah i can't believe it uh good job deathstroke yeah good job will smith's dead shot so this was announced in 2016 and it was deprioritized over the other projects. And apparently Will Smith asked for too much money. <laughs> Will Smith asking for too much money in yeah. this economy? He's a good guy. Like, when I see him in films, I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, there he is. It's Will Smith. It's Will Smith. But they couldn't have known, or they should have known, he would have been, like, too much money. He would have been, like, too much money for more than one film. I think Will Smith is a psychopath. Yeah? He got... Do you got more to say about that? I'm looking at the camera to seem like... You know, you know, I, I, I was doing the exact same thing. So apparently there's supposed to be a Gotham Sirens movie. It was supposed to be Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and the Joker. But they said the show's to do Birds of Prey instead. Good. I mean, not that they did Birds... I don't... Is that good? Which one they do? Well, all I know is that David David was uh, the director for Suicide Squad, so yeah, like anything that he, you know, it's anything he's attached to should just be shut down immediately. Well, don't you want to see like the the air cut? Don't you want to see that the cooler that version? That is such a stupid fucking. Thing. I hate that by yeah. the way. And look, I don't care which one of you listening to this like the Snyder cut. You can like whatever you want. Yeah. But like, not every fucking director is is like. You want to see a fucking good cut? Uh, Wonder Woman 1984 or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, what's her name that directed that? Pat Patty Jenkins. Patty's... Patty Jenkins. Pat... 
Patty Jenkins. Is that her name? Yep, that's that. That's her name. That's by, yep. I just looked. That's Patty I, Jenkins. All right. Well, Patty had, from what I understand, more or less like full control of the second movie. Yeah, that was her cut. That was it. That was the direct cut. That wasn't a good movie. I don't know, like, why you guys immediately think that just because a director has a different version of the movie that that version would just be somehow better. You well, can't actually, fix a movie. With you a different you do cut. have some old videos of yours that you're like, you know what? If only I had three more years. I could finalize this. Uh, what was it again? I remember it was something to do with like Batman and Superman kissing, the one that you couldn't release for some reason. We talk about this in private. Harley Quinn versus the Joker. Uh, so this is announced in 2017, sure. and the script was submitted, and they instead just did Birds of Prey again. <laughs> Noticing, yeah, Birds of Prey just taking out names. Just, oh my god! Like, can you imagine one film destroying two so far? Just two so far. You know, DC has a lot of fucking. Idiots. I know a few of the movies that got cut. Like there was a ba- there wasn't you know there was an original version of the Batman vs Superman like oh, yeah? before the one we got that was gonna have the Superman from Superman Returns. Oh, he's actually fight. a pretty good Superman. Yeah, he was decent. Yeah, and You're right. he was gonna fight Batman, and they actually like they tested if audiences would like it or something. They they put it in the background of I think it was I Am Legend or something. It was the Will Smith movie. Yeah, they put it in the backgrounds. It was like a little hint, but it, it got like shut down by that point. But it was going to happen. It was a real thing that was in production. I can't I can't see Superman Return Superman fighting a Batman. That seems too stupid. Like I can well, see Man of Steel happen. fighting a Batman cuz he's very gritty. Bah, 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 bah. But yeah, I, well, we, we saw them. We saw how that went. James Wan's The Trench. So this is supposed to be a spinoff film, you know, of Aquaman. And it was canceled in 2021. And is re- oh, is going to yeah. be a Black Manta film. That would be cool. I remember this. That was the horror one, right? Yes. So you know how the Blue Beetle's out? And at the time of mm-hmm. recording to, to the audience, uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'll be seeing it over the weekend. It's one of those things where it's like, hey, maybe we got to have the big names first and then we can start doing like the uh, the other guys. You know what I mean? Let's have the big names first. A, J- a Joker movie. We got that. Cool. Harley Quinn movie. Cool. What else do we need? What else do we need? We haven't had a Cyborg movie yet. We barely had a, a The Flash movie because The Flash movie we... is just everyone else and The Flash. Well, we had the, the The Flash movie and that was a pretty good The The Flash, but like we need a really The The Flash, you know? Yeah, we just need a regular The Flash. He hasn't seen it yet. This guy right here. This guy right here hasn't seen it yet. So next week, uh, we'll talk about The Flash because there's got a lot of stuff to talk about. But I'm going to see it tonight and if I come back to next week's podcast and my skin's like a notable shade whiter, that's yeah. why. Now this next movie uh, is something that JG was very excited about. It was oh yeah, Adam Zietzky's Zietzky's Wonder Twins. Oh, don't get me started on Adam when she's Wonder Twins. Don't get me started. Oh please, I can talk about this for hours. Oh please, don't get me started. Form of bucket. Yes. Within a period of just three months, a Wonder Twins film for HBO Max was announced. The director and writer were found. KJ Appa and Isabel May were cast as leads. Filming was going to be in uh, Atlanta, and then the movie got canceled. A grave sin befall our country that day. That would fucking piss me off as as those actors. Like, imagine they say, you know what? We got this great film, guys. You're we're, We went through all these people to find the greatest, the best Wonder Twins, and you get to be it. You, we just announced that we did got this great director. We're about to film. Oh, there's a, there's a writer strike. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Guess guess we can't do that. From what I understand, the writer strike actually wasn't like they they blamed obviously workspace conditions and payment, but mm-hmm. I think it was actually focused on the fact that they weren't going to include Gleek, the monkey what the character. Fuck? Yeah, they weren't going to include Gleek in the Wonder Twins movie, which is just like that's not the glue. That's like not having Mary of Nazareth in the Jesus movie. It's like what? Yeah, it's like not having the Flash in the part. Flash movie. It'd just be the. Yeah, but then we got the reverse problem where they put fucking too many of the the, the Flashes. There's too many of the, the Flashes. So this one could have gave some redemption to our boy Nightwing, who in most media, like most animated media, he's just like get the shits kicked out of him. Yeah. Or killed. So a Nightwing film was, was supposed to be directed by Chris McKay and written by Bill DeBeek. In twenty se- in 2017, they had other priorities. That could I have been remember, fun. I remember... This might be unrelated. I remember when the Teen Titans show or whatever was like coming out. Yeah. And there was this guy on Instagram that would post these pictures of him in this Nightwing outfit. <laughs> and like these pictures of him on a set. And he's like... I'm going to be the next Nightwing, dude. Get ready. I'm like, holy shit, this guy's like, a, he looks all professional and shit. Like, is this like oh. really him? And then the show comes out 
and it's not him, and he never posts again. It, and it's just so that must have been I'll his never fucking find movie. Him. It could have been. <laughs> now that you say that, I'm. W- w- this is 2017. Yeah, they said it was announced in 2017. Uh, the script was approaching its final draft, but was delayed due to DC having other priorities. Which oh means they could have been doing some test footage. That was test footage. No, that was, it test, was footage. test footage. Holy shit. No, dude, you have no idea. This is like answering mystery years. This is years yeah. of qu- mystery, man. You should have taken a screenshot this together for years. God damn. I was fucking 17. I didn't know any, I, I didn't know I was going to be doing this shit when I was fucking 20. As a, we're, we're going to take a little break, but mm-hmm. we're taking a little break from the DC to talk about the strikes because they had a recent meeting and the companies were like, we'll agree to uh, one, of your, one of your things, just one of them. What was that? They didn't say. Uh, <laughs> of we'll course just, not. We'll just read to like one of your things and the, the striker said no. And so how this relates to DC is, uh, I hope people just start leaking shit, and honestly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, go for it. The fuck with the studios. Because, like, it's happened before where it's like, oops, here's the full here's the full cut of the Pompeii movie from getting Tarnovsky for Sony that was never released. Oops, I just leaked it. Someone, someone did we're leak definitely, it. We're <laughs> definitely... I feel like we're going to get the Batgirl movie somehow. The Batgirl movie keeps showing up in, like, promotional materials. Like, I saw a picture of, like, a DVD stand for, like, uh, The Flash, and it's like, oh, there's the Batgirl logo. There it is. <laughs> Texas. New Gods, a film revolving around Jack Kirby's New Gods, was announced in 2018. That uh, pissed me off so. Dark Seed was set to appear. That was that would have been so fucking cool. I remember when that was announced too. Look, anything Jack Kirby mm-hmm. related, it's gonna be. You know what? Actually, no, no. Well, the fact they included his name in it, it, it. Do you care for comics really like at all? But what what have we been talking about for the past few minutes? <laughs> no, I know, but like, comics? do you read? Yeah. Uh, like the older stuff yeah i've read some of that older stuff i know jack kirby's a good guy yeah th- that guy was a fucking nut job when it came to art that guy drew like the most bizarro shit ever i always you know, liked like, his dark fuck- shadows and black inky lines that he drew the wacky <laughs> yeah shits. but like it, like he gave dr strange his, his identity with the kaleidoscope shit and like the wacky visuals which when he went to dc he went off the chains with that that's where the new gods got their whole look but you want to mm-hmm. know something uh kind of fucked up about it? DC's relationship with yeah, Jack. I want to hear kind of going it. off a tangent. That's Jack okay. Kirby was actually brought on to do the art for Superman, which was kind of fucking crazy because these people have been working on Superman for a while. They give him this separate comic, right? Because mm-hmm. at the time, there's like three separate Superman issues. He's the most popular hero at the time. So he moves into DC, and they immediately just give him head to re- head of art. And people at DC are pissed off yeah, because he starts drawing Superman to look more more natural i guess you could say like the, the the look that he gives superman is very different from how it was at the time yeah wasn't c- crazy just like oh look it looked better i liked it they drew over every instance of his fucking face oh my god and he if you look up jack kirby's superman he looks like a ai generated superman it looks so fucking unreal and they fucked him they fucked him completely. They yep. just did that. And he's like, fuck you guys. All right, I'm going to go die in the 90s or whenever he died. Yeah, he's I'm still, looking. No, he's not alive. No, he's not like, alive. When he died. 1994. 94. Yeah. Yeah. As you're looking on screen right now that I'm pulling up right here. Yeah, they fucking drew over it. Yeah. It's at fucking that, bizarre. At that point, it's like, why don't you just hire someone else, idiot? You're just wasting manpower. You're wasting <laughs> money. You're wasting everyone's time. So anyway, the so new bad. Gods movie was canceled because of Zack Snyder. Not because of him. But because they're going in a different direction from Zack Snyder and they're like, well, that's Zack's vision and he's not here with us anymore. Yeah. Suicide Squad 2. Now, the original one was to be a direct sequel to the Suicide Squad and it was rumored to feature the introduction of Supergirl and it was supposed to be more of a comedy. Fine. Uh, So we have this other Flash movie. Rick Flayum is the Flash. They they kept the same title because that's a good title the flash uh it was set to helm in 2016 and it would have heavily featured ray fisher's cyborg as his his friend yeah cool i'm gonna be honest any dc scrap project from the start of man of steel to today they're so boring to me i really don't give a shit i mean some of them are interesting just to think like what if they really wanted well, to you lose didn't, the money you didn't like a movie about black canary a spinoff of a spinoff of a spinoff. I, you know, I, I, like everyone else, I do wake up in the morning and I say, "When's the Black Canary movie coming out?" Well, here's the thing, okay? The reason why we're getting a lot of MCU projects that are like the Marvels and Kamala Khan is because they've been working on this shit for ten years. So if DC had been making these films for ten years, then people would be excited for a Black Canary movie. 
Yeah. Oh well. Go for it. Uh, Deathstroke. We got a we got a fucking Deathstroke movie that was announced in 2017. Uh, it was supposed to be directed by Gareth Evans. He filmed the Raid one and two, and was been inspired by Korean noir films. Scrapped in sure. 20, 2021. Just scrapped. You see, like these could be. Mm-hmm. Th- these just to me they co- like Suicide Squad two, Harley Quinn versus Joker. These just everything from this era is just it just sound because obviously they're trying to do the MCU. Yeah. It just sounds like they're throwing fucking darts at a wall. Like, I want to see the the shit they scrapped in the early 2000s when it was like a fucking gamble. Mm-hmm. Like, when they had Nick Cage Superman fighting a fucking... Uh, spider. S- a spider. It was a spider. Right? Like, when they were, when they were literally taking risks. Well, remember, fucking movie- Zack Snyder had a five-film plan. It was... Let me double-check. Yeah, I just looked it up. No, I didn't. It was Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman... Wonder Woman, Justice League parts one and two. That's what he wanted. It fucked him over. Well, not him because he we, we don't know his vision, so I don't really know. It fucked over DC because we didn't get individual films about people. If we had a if we had Man of Steel and then a Batman movie, and be like, okay, the setting of the universe, Wonder Woman separately, and then Flash and then Cyborg separately, or maybe Cyborg with Justice League. You know what I mean? That yeah. could work because you're setting up the work. big people. Oh well. But they they had to all fit it in at once, like you know there was initially a Justice League that was gonna happen in the two thousands. Oh, what's with uh? Yeah, I forget like a couple of the people fucking, uh, the voice of the the, the 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 voice of the kid from How to Train Your Dragon, it was gonna mm-hmm. be the Flash. There was a Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and it looked pretty good. The story, I'm pretty sure, like a a, a script is out there and it's decent. Mm-hmm. And the whole movie got fucking canned because they just said, fuck, you know, this is not going to make money. So they canned the fucking thing. That's more interesting to me than anything coming out of out of Warner Brothers ass in the last fucking few years. It's like, actually, this one could have been very fun. Guillermo del Toro's Justice League Dark. Now, this was start. It just started that's as cool. a description in 2013. That's cool. That's cool. See, that, and then that's that's the era I'm talking about. Like when they were still throwing, when they were just trying to like take risks, you know, do something different outside the box. Now it's just whatever's hot. Blue Beetle is a risk, I'll say. I'll admit. Uh, it was a risk until they said, like, yeah, this is not part of the new DCU. Not. No. <laughs> we'll release it anyway. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll anyway. be streaming a week later. Uh, we got Henry Cavill's Man of Steel 2. Now, this is at the very funky, very funny, haha, weird time when Drain the Rock Johnson was trying to take over DC and was like, yeah, I don't want to be a Shazam villain. I want to be the lead of everything. So his movie did not bomb. Okay, it earned 800 million. Pretty good, pretty good. Not a billion. And so around that time, Henry Cavill was like going in and out of Superman because at first he said, "Yeah, I'll return," because it was just Joss Whedon that he hated. <laughs> Joss Whedon, everyone ha- everyone hated him. And then he said, "Oh, I guess I won't return. I guess James Gunn's gonna be the new guy." It was not good. Yeah. And then everyone found out Dwayne is a bit of a weirdo. Yeah, you faked fucking like documents that he, his team fed to the media to lie about how much money he was making. And he kept very much pushing his tequila on set like whenever at the film premiere for uh, black adam they're like hey can you ease up a little bit on this tequila we're trying to have a family movie i know he murders a lot of people but we have a kid cannot have the tequila and he's like fuck you no nah, i'm on the rock side on that one i saw the villain isn't he like literally the fucking like devil you got pentagram on his chest and shit black adam or Dwayne the real person doesn't Dwayne fight a guy with like a pentagram on his chest in that movie have you not seen black adam i have not Go see it. It's on Max. It's fine. <laughs> that that defines ninety percent of DC <laughs> products in the last few years. Just it's fine. You get to see the Justice Society. That's pretty cool. You know. You get to see Doctor Fate. That. Don't you want to see Doctor okay, Fate well, by I Pierce do. Brosnan? <laughs> I do want to see those scenes. I do. I, I have a soft spot. He's for a the, very good Doctor Fate. Shit. He looks good. I mean, the, I'll say that the costumes in that movie look really cool. Mm-hmm. I really only want to see quality films, like stuff that makes you sit down and really think about it. Then like, why are we watching super to... computer films? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm looking forward to? What are you looking forward to? Adam Sandler's Leo. You know what? That seems fun. It's a musical. Didn't you hear? No. Well, I'm... <laughs> it's it's in the notes. It's in the notes. Adam Sandler Leo musical starring Adam Sandler. It's about this uh this lizard at like a school and he wants to escape to try something new. Isn't that isn't that fun? And they only showed a teaser by the time we were recording this. But you know what? Animation style looks fun. Adam Sandler is doing his classic goofy voice. I'm sure people get hit in the nuts 
you know the classic Adam Sandler movie. I'm oh, excited. Yeah. There, there's a there, there is excited? a song where the trumpet is replaced by farts or some sh- or burps or something. This this would be like the second time they had a Adam Sandler movie that has very nice animation for like a uh, Eight Crazy Nights, and then just be like fart jokes and poop jokes. But we don't hey, yet. We're lucky. We- we get a hotel in Transylvania if we're lucky. Michael B. Jordan, Static Shock and Val Valzad. Uh, he was supposed to be doing. What? Yeah, he was supposed to be doing a Static Shock movie in 2020 and a Valzad TV series in 2021 for HBO Max. That would have been really fucking cool. <laughs> God damn it! All right, I'll admit. I'll admit there are one or two that'll get me. I can't. I, I'm. I'm not infallible. Well, here's the thing. It's remained unclear with James Gunn's new DCU. Now he could return. You know, he could return. They could be free fun. I don't see it. Oh, by the way, I, I mean, I'd be I clear, see... he's producing the films. Okay, that makes more sense to me because, like, I can't see my. He's a bit old for his... a Static Shock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a little too old. I think that I think that yeah. those days are behind him there. Yeah. But well, they can CGI I'd love him. To see that movie. Remember how they CGI Iron you, you just, Man? You, you, to you look say younger? that like it's a joke. You say that like it's a joke. Have you seen <laughs> it, dude? They were doing that shit with fucking Justice League with a like, goofy ass. Uh, Henry Cavill's lip. Okay. Like, fuck. hold on. I want to clarify something. Okay, can I clarify something? Clarify. That? Cool. During those reshoots, he had a mustache. And he was contractually obligated to have a mustache for the film he was in. I believe it was the then Mission Impossible movie. And so mm-hmm. they had to thin out his mustache and CGI over it because he legally, okay, could not shave it. It's very fucking stupid. <laughs> like, that's the reason. Why they did it, and this the, all the all the reshoots to make it like more funny, more happy. You saw both versions of Justice League, the Joss Whedon cuts and the Zack Snyder cut. Yeah, I've seen both, and I dislike both for different reasons. But, but I'll say the Zack Snyder one is definitely more focused. But did you watch in black and white? Yeah, I didn't realize until later there's a version in color. I, I haven't seen Justice. Was it Justice is colorless? Justice is dark. It was the tagline li- we used. No, dude, I don't. I have no fucking idea. All I know is that when I lo- logged in the Max, it was like, "Here's the Snyder cut." I'm like, "All right, I'll watch it. It's in mm-hmm. black and white." I'm like, "All right," and then I'll see fucking clips of it in like color. I'm like, "How did you guys do this?" And they're like, "Oh, it's just a different thing." <laughs> and I slam my head into a brick wall. Well, I guess at that time, I started seeing colors. Zach was like, "You know what? I'll give you another cut of the film, black and white." Colors extra. Jared Leto's Joker in 2018. Oh, it was God. be a soul film about the joker and apparently it was somehow reworked into the uh the new one the joaquin phoenix one you know what a gangster joker which is what they're going for could work just no tattoos on on the face isn't it crazy to get cast as like one of the most iconic characters in fiction mm-hmm. and then watch as like your opportunity to play him is just like sapped from you immediately yeah because obviously he was just an actor like, he wasn't the costume designer, he wasn't the producer. Because when you're doing, like, costume design and shit, you present with some options, you know what I mean? And the director says, oh, this one works pretty well. The producer says, oh, we can do that one, maybe this one, blah, blah, So it wasn't Jared's fault that he had tattoos on his face that said fucking deranged. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, I'm going to say probably not. I'm going to I'm gonna have, you can quote me on this. He probably didn't act, have it. Mm-hmm. Even his acting, to an extent, like, you can even, I think, obviously, I think some of it was him. Yeah, but you, you get direction, you know. You gotta blame the director at the end of the day. But of course, as we all know, the A or cut or whatever his fucking name is, they're actually master class acting in that. Like it's actually like a, almost a completely different character. He's dressed in like the iconic Dark Knight outfit and everything. It's strange that it's only in that cut. What's interesting is during the strike stuffs, they've been Disney has been restoring old films. Like today, right now. You can watch Cinderella in 4K remastered, and they're working on or planning to doing Fantasia, the original remasters and everything. They could do an air cut only for the fact that they don't have to shoot any more film. They're like, oh, you could just use the footage we didn't tell you to use, you know, pay him a little bit of money. He's like, yeah, you could just just go do that. Save us some money. It would be very funny if go they do that. somehow do that. Like they just do it. That would show the most lack of fucking confidence in their <laughs> in themselves if they release that they really are fucking low on money like the fucking negotiators would sit down and the first thing they would do is pull it up on hbo and they're like did you release this and they're like all right what are your demands <laughs> <laughs> the batgirl 2017 it was it was to be written by written directed and produced by joss whedon okay and apparently he just said you know what guys i didn't have an idea i didn't know how it happened i just didn't have an idea so like for the for the whole year i guess he just wasn't reading comics or something or like looking into it and being like you know what all right guys i know i was given writing directing and producing rule for this 
I just got no ideas. No ideas. JJ, can you pitch a Batgirl movie? Can you pitch a Batgirl movie right now? Pitch one. Yeah, pitch sure. One. Okay, uh, cool. So Batgirl, is, uh, we're just going to do fucking... Uh, Batgirl is uh, fucking uh, Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Yeah, I like he's it like, so far. He's like, I'm going to fight crime. She's like, I want to fight crime. He's like, no, you're, you're my daughter. You can't do that. Oh. She's like, I'm going to be like Batman. So she starts dressing up like Batman, and then she starts fighting crime, and it gets over her head, meets Batman. She, he he, he mm-hmm. gives her equipment. She fights the bad guys and wins, and he's like, you're good. I'll teach you to be Batgirl. And she's like, okay. And that's it. I got one note. Just one little note. Yeah. One note. Okay, cool. Batman needs to be in a wheelchair for most of the movie. No. He needs to get shot. He's got he two. Needs to get shot. No, he is going to walk around in two crutches. He's going <laughs> to be played by the same actor who played Walt Jr. from Breaking Bad. Yeah. And that is my final fucking offer. If you change that, I will walk. Unlike Batman, which is what we agreed just now he would be not walking from us in the movie. He'll recover. No, he doesn't recover. That's just how he is. Because it's okay. here's here's what the audience notes say. If Batman's yeah. not in a wheelchair, okay, mm-hmm. then why aren't we just having a Batman film? Why are we focusing on Batgirl? This is what the audience wants. Mm-hmm. He needs to be in a wheelchair. Who, who wrote that note? My kid. He doesn't like Batman. Do you like... You, your son's gonna die. Just like Ray Fisher's cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> somehow, somehow not as bad as that though. So this was announced during the 2014 slate of films. Yep, uh, Ray Fisher spoke out regarding the racism he faced from Joss Whedon, jo- Johns, and Walter Hammonds during the Justice League reshoots, and then was written out of the Flash. Cyborg was never made. He was the most fucked actor in all of this. They shot because like you've seen Justice League, the good version, and and you saw the scenes with Cyborg, and they're like, you shot this, and you just didn't like want to show anyone joss whedon oh my god so so he got racism very hard and he said you know what i guess you're speaking out too much what if we just what if we just didn't give you a movie ray how about that i know we announced it 10 years ago but what if you just didn't okay. have one <laughs> okay ray so you're saying that we're mistreating you all right all right yeah we're, we're all right we're not mistreating you for shit anyways here's your multi-million dollar fucking paycheck we're just pulling out of your ass you're never <laughs> seeing that again you better learn how to appreciate us because we're the good guys here. You know, everyone knows the big studio bastards are the heroes in this, always. Yeah, go go talk to Joss Whedon, the guy who drove Ben Affleck to drinking because of the reshoots. Go talk to him. I think he I think he really will want to hear about your problems. Oh, look, there's Wonder Woman. <laughs> Why is she crying? 80% <laughs> not uh, unrelated, but like 8 out of 10 pictures of Ben Affleck in the last 10 years look like he's on Suicide Watch. Joss Whedon really did a number on him that's why he quit batman it wasn't anything else it was literally just the reshoot sucks so much ass and ben affleck was like i really hope i don't want to work with this guy ever again that's why for- yeah, i heard that mm-hmm. i heard that joss whedon had people install like high school lockers just so that he can open them and cram the actors into them that's why in all the shots where you see ben affleck he's visibly drunk it is not part of the is character he, wait is he just shit faced during the movie i i, I wouldn't be able to tell you if yeah it's a joke or not for a lot really? of the scenes, he was drinking. Good on it. Yo, fuck. Ben Affleck is a fucking... Oh, fuck yeah, that guy's cool as shit. Okay, Green Lantern Corps. Uh, this is also part of the 2014 slate. It was morphed into an HBO Max streaming series with Finn Whitrock and Jeremy Ivern being cast and then morphed again to a Jon Stewart solo show and it's now in the current DCU slate. So that, that got reworked. Sweet. I would love if they re- if they touched the fucking green lantern tv show again the animated one that was good that was pretty interesting yeah it wasn't it it was like a 3d bruce tim style show oh yeah that was pretty good really interesting and it's like it was clunky but like ambitious and we also we'll just skip over this one it's just <laughs> Zack snyder's justice league 2 we can we already know about that it was clunky and ambitious zatanna people like <laughs> oh, magic you know, zatanna. yeah i heard about that it was zatanna clunky but ambitious so it was uh, 2021 it was announced for hbo max emerald fennel fennel was hired to write a screenplay for later that month someone named emerald fennel sounds like the perfect person to write it as a tana movie i don't know why she's actually pretty reputable in the comic industry hmm. a lot of people call her clunky but ambitious the film was produced by jj abrams as he was paid 250 million by wb to ju- develop uh justice league dark projects but he just decided not to 250 million so they paid him 250 that million is, that is ambitious but 
but kind of clunky. You know, I'm kind of glad uh, that they just got James Gunn to be like, can you just do all this for us? We don't want to keep trying to hire James Gunn and Joss Whedon sometimes and some other guy. Can you just can you just be the guy to do this for us? Well, you know what they say about James Gunn? Yeah, he's nice. Hmm. We got a few more. We got we got a few more. Of these. <laughs> Crisis on Infinite Earths in 2022. Okay, what? Uh, what? It was reported that Walter uh, Hamanda was developing a Crisis on Infinite Earths film, presuming to help save the DCU production continuity issues. This was this was Are they stupid. Uh, this would have been referenced in the original ending of the Flash, but was cut. So now, this does it? That doesn't. Why would you? That story. You can't just do that. You can't just go into fucking Crisis on Infinite Earths. So after watching The Flash, I can say they could. No, I mean I I think I know what you're talking about. This it wouldn't be good. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. And, and look, Flashpoint, both mm-hmm. movies, mo- both stories in the comics are definitely a bit more complex. But with mm-hmm. the fucking Flashpoint, it's it's pretty basic. You know, it's just like it's the same heroes, but they're kind of fucked up, and maybe they don't exist, or maybe they're different versions. X Y Z. Maybe whatever, it's blah, Michael blah, blah. Keaton. Yeah. Yeah, but like. Crisis on Infinite Earths is a like universe thing. Mm-hmm. You would ha- they can't handle a single superhero movie. How are they gonna? F- they could this, like just imagine the Justice League. Yeah, but like on an entire scale, like everyone they can do Justice that. League, but with Suicide Squad, Justice League, the other just Suicide Squad, fucking every other character out of their ass. Well, you know how a lot of superhero universes just die. Like in one comic, they're like. We tried doing this one thing in in a universe, or we heard about it, but that universe is gone canonically. It doesn't exist anymore. That would have been the DCEU. <laughs> oh my god, that actually would have been so fucking cool <laughs> if the movie starts and like you think like, okay, so how's this gonna happen? And then they get wiped out, and it just starts over with a whole new fucking cast. And he's like, sucks for those guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm Superman, played by Brendan Fraser, and that's Batman, played by my hand puppet. It was definitely not Henry Cavill holding the hand puppet. You can see a little fucking fuzz, like computer fuzz over his top lip. So this the one right here. legally complicated not to shave. Batman Beyond. In 2022, is reported that it was supposed to be starring Michael Keaton's Batman and Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Okay. But it was scrapped upon James Gunn's takeover of the DCU. I think Batman Beyond can work with Ben Affleck's Batman. Because in Justice League, he audibly says, I'm very tired and very old. I don't want to keep doing this. They, they could have done with Ben Affleck's Batman. Yeah. I think that could work. But I think that they made, as unfortunate as it is. Because mm-hmm. I love I love Batman Beyond. The, the show, the, even the comics are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but like you would need batman beyond works because it builds upon the mythos of batman yeah and if you're in a universe that has not had a batman movie there's no real weight to it it's just kind of like its own thing counterpoint you could make it its own thing counterpoint can you see ben affleck's batman shooting a kid and killing him yes (laughs) i've seen him do that so he's already actually no that that makes it worse that's more my argument it's like (laughs) i shot i shot someone and it made me Realize I was no better than them after I shot the whole fucking family, like the the whole gang with an artillery gun from my car. <laughs> he was already past that point. He couldn't exist. Batman Beyond could not exist in that universe. Yeah, the Flash would have been like, uh, Batman, you've killed so many people. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, but I did it <laughs> one time. I really meant it, though. One time it was serious. I'm going to read these words to you in a very specific order. Okay. Okay. This film has been in development since 2009. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which originally intended to star. The character would have been Lobo, directed by Michael Bay. Would you have watched that? Not my proudest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course I would have to watch that. Are you kidding? <laughs> A Lobo Dwayne film. Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing Lobo, directed by Michael Bay. So the film was revived in 2016 with Jason Fuchs to write. Uh, Michael Bay is attached to the direct by 2018, but never went forward due to budget issues. So, like, we missed out on a Michael Bay superhero movie. Who would Lobo be, like, bounty hunting? What would he, what would he be doing? What universe would this have been in 2009? Da- daft, Daft. There is no answer. They'd have to it's make up superheroes. Daft. It's Lobo played by Dwayne Rock Johnson. <laughs> directed by Michael Bay. That's it. That's all the That's the full need. title. That is the full title of the movie. And the poster is just of Dwayne Johnson standing <laughs> up, no makeup, just standing there. 
holding a bottle of tequila and the movie makes infinite money if that was released in 2010 like before the avengers movie in 2012 400 million i can easily would have bombed huh would have bombed no it would have done fine only because it's a guy on a motorcycle who beats people up that was the thing in 2009 2010 great thing that was still at the time when action movies were shots with like weird blues and golds i'm serious go go back to i'm looking at the camera go back to a lot of the movies back between the 2000s and tell me how many you see that are weirdly shot with a lot of blues and golds it would work fair but yeah what i would say in response to that is the reason why it wouldn't work is because back then was when they were too afraid to really go into the zany shit with the comic book stuff yeah that's when the x-men like 2010 isn't that around that's that's like last stand x-men right that was 2007 2007. yeah yeah 2007 so that era so they would have given him just a fucking harley davidson motorcycle they would have given him they wouldn't have painted him gray for one yeah probably not. he'd be mostly skin toned most of the film it would be dwayne johnson in like tennessee fighting (laughs) aliens and he's like i'm lobo i'm from space you know i'm from space because i said my name is lobo and that's not a normal kind of argument. Mm. I still watch that film in theaters. I didn't say I wouldn't. <laughs> I did not say I would. Now, did I say I wouldn't? I said the first thing no. I said, the first thing I first said thing. was that I would be there. That I would be there. Front not, seat. Not my most proud yes, but it's a yes. I would rent out the theater and then say, like, I'm doing a charity thing and not give a single fucking ticket. We got some questions. It's very, some very few questions right here. Very good. All right, what's up? What are we doing? What's the questions? Mackenzie O'Brien, 75, 79. That's the year they were born. The future hasn't happened yet. Irish. Uh, the heroes are villains that overlap between two major comic book universes and have their reputation as forms versus essence as discussed by Plato. What? You know how sometimes the Joker just shows up in Metropolis to fuck with shit? I did, I, yeah, but what did, you, what did she say? The heroes or villains that overlap between two major comic book universes and how their representation as forms versus essence as discussed by Plato. So is she asking about crossover characters? You remember the time the Joker tried to do shit in Central City and the Flash just used a, just made like a, a hur- not a hurricane, a tornado, oh. shot him back to Gotham and he never went yeah, back to yeah. Central City ever again. I mean, he tried planting <laughs> bombs around Metropolis and Superman just flew up to him, grabbed all the bombs, grabbed, just fucking gave it to him. He's like, get the fuck out of my city yeah Plato was fun you can make like balls with it and eat it remember when the joker met uh the punisher no the punisher almost fucking kills the joker have you not seen that probably probably i haven't just forgot it yeah it's just like one of those the punisher versus the joker stories or whatever oh you know one of those yeah we just we just one of those the classic ones batman had to stop the punisher from doing what gotham sorely needed <laughs> Cause like yeah, as Batman, you got that you got that one rule we can't we can't kill anyone. But like he's killed so many people. Punisher, no, I need job security. We gotta kill him. He's killed so many people, Batman. Yes, but how are they gonna make ba- Joker versus Harley Quinn? Who's Harley Quinn? Another clown I gotta kill. Oh wait, I already did. John Berthold, <laughs> listen here. <laughs> no. I'll- no, what kind of actual conversations? Batman, save me! The Joker, your good buddy! My good buddy? Well, don't you remember? I was he my. We played poker the other night on Villain's Day Off. <laughs> just the fucking Batman <laughs> characters have like fucking like Mario Party scenarios where they just like put their shit aside to like go karting. <laughs> well, they gotta play basketball. Crime never has a day off. Yeah, yeah, I do, Batman. I have vacations. Don't, don't you? I already did that video. Slim Jim forty nine fifty three. Favorite underrated comic book movies? Uh, before I answer that question, you can change your username. Yeah, it's slim. You don't want to be Slim Jim. I want to be Slim Jim, just not Slim Jim five four three two one. Um, but most my favorite underrated superhero movie? Yeah, under underrated. Underrated. That's kind of hard to find. Uh, but not often talked about as much. But most people regard it as good. I guess Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. I really like that movie. That's a really fucking tight superhero movie. But not often talked about not not recently at least kind of got lost behind the time i can see that it's it's been a while since i've watched that film i think i saw that in theaters that's how i think that's how long ago it was i think i actually saw that in theaters and i was exactly. like oh that was actually pretty good that was, that was pretty good one would say underrated comic book movies because we've gotten so many good comic book movies over the time that's like you know what these are pretty rated 
I would rate these as good. Yeah, after I'm running out of time on my timeline. Yeah, me too. Oh well. That's all the we time gotta we go got. Back in time like the flash. We gotta go back in time and fix the timeline. It just be like that. Goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Bad Take Delete Podcast. And if we didn't answer your question, it's not that we ran out of time. It's just that we don't like you personally. Thanks. Mm -hmm.